Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, we are back. Um, this is We're going to do two shows today. I'm going to do another one later that will be released early uh, Monday morning. But I'm going to Belize uh, for you know five days or six days or something like that. So I'm not going to be able to do any shows. If you are a Patreon, the link uh, to join is in the description. It's just five dollars a month. Uh, I'll give you the lock of the week, and you can you can request you can request anything, and I'll break it down for you. But I'm not going to be able to do any videos. Um, so uh, if you want my help or my gambling advice, just uh, join the Patreon. It's just five dollars a month. We'll, we'll make you money back. We were four and one again last week, so we're eleven and three over the last three weeks. We're absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. It's every single week now. Um, but on this show, we're going to get into. Uh, Abbas Baru and Sam Eggington, a really interesting fight that I've gone back and forth on. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow The Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house. Oops, sorry about that, guys. How to consistently <laughs> make money betting on the sport of boxing. I am sorry about that. Uh, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. Also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. So, Sam Eggington is 30, is just 30 years old. Like, do you think he's a lot older than that? Like, he beat Paulie Malignaggi like seven years ago. Um, you know, he marches forward behind the jab, he's got a stiff jab. Straight, clean punches. I don't like him on the outside. I do like him on the inside. He likes to stand in exchange, but he also tries to, to box and jab from the outside of the pocket. That's not his strong, not, that's strong suit. That's not going to go well for him in this fight because he's slow and he's not that good of a he's not that good of a craftsman. Good volume, stays in the trenches, but he's easy to hit, obviously. He keeps his hands, he keeps his head on the line, but he keeps his hands up so he can. Block shots, but they're still, you know, getting through somewhat. I don't think he's a huge hitter. His, his knockout percentage for the way he fights it kind of indicates that, and you can see he lands clean shots. But he's got a great chin. He's got a great gas tank and a great chin, so he's a very durable guy. Crisp, clean shots on the inside are accurate. He's really good in the accurate, and, and this is going to be important um, with the Abaru fight. He doesn't move his head. He's, he's super stationary. He's not a difficult guy to hit on the inside. He doesn't really work a bunch of angles. He's just fundamentally sound. He throws clean shots, and he keeps his hands up. Like I said, he's fairly accurate. Decent timing from the outside, but it's really not as strong. Too. If he's going to win this fight, it's not going to be from the outside. Baru is a boxer. And if you go back to the Qualcalos, which is four years ago already, that's amazing. It's almost four years ago. He's improved vastly since the Qualcalos. Like, vastly. More combinations, more volume, uses more lateral movement, much more multifaceted and complete as a fighter. His feet are a lot better. He may have gas tank issues, and if Eggington is going to win this fight, it's going to come in late stages if he can break him down over time because Eggington can go on and on and on and on, and on like the Android's bunny, and it appears Baru might slow down a bit. He, he throws a lot more than he used to. He throws a lot more combinations. He works on the inside a lot more. He's not terrific on the inside, but he's much better than he was, and he can fight there. I don't think that's where he wins the fight. I think – you know, that, the fight's going to be in the trenches at that point, and he can hold his own there, but he's got to win the fight on the outside using his movement. He can't, you know, his lateral movement is vastly improved from early on in his career. It's pretty good now. He keeps the jab pumping. He's got a good jab. He, he's got a really good jab. He just needs to use it. He can time it well. He keeps you off of him. He keeps you off of him with it. Uh, so that's where he needs the fight to take place. He doesn't want to get into an exchange. He doesn't want to fight a phone booth fight with Eggington. If he does, he's going to lose. If he keeps him on the outside, he's going to win. If he fights his fight, he, he wins. He was a super basic guy in the Cloquet fight. There's a lot more to him now. He's, he's a much improved fighter since the Cloquet fight. That's for certainty. I still think his best chance of winning is from the outside. Even though he's vastly improved on the inside, 
keep it on the outside, keep moving, use your speed. His leg, he's got better legs. His hand speed is not the greatest thing in the world. Keep the jab going, keep him at bay, hold your own on the inside, tie him up, you reset, you know, rinse and repeat. Keep it on, the, keep using the ring. That's what I would say for Baru. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be who can implement their style. So how do we make money on a fight that both guys can win? Well, Baru, I think, is more multifaceted. He's got more ways to win the fight. He's a decent favorite, minus 170. I think this is easy, just a one times bet. I think if you can get an over prop, uh, if, I, if you can get an over, I, I would definitely take the over. This is a 12-round affair. I, 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 you know, the over, I think it makes a lot of sense. On a bet like this, one times bet, $100 bet makes you 58 80 so It's going to make you about 60 bucks on a $100 bet. This is a tough one. Either guy can win. I, I do favor Barrow. I, I think the odds are reasonable. Eggington's at a plus 135. So he pays, eh, you know, eh, it's okay bet for Eggington. I, I like the over in this. Well, if you can get an over prop, take the over. I think this fight goes a distance. Like I said, Eggington has a good gas tank, so I don't see him breaking down. I also don't see him breaking down. A, the, I don't see Eggington breaking down Burrow enough to stop him. So I think the fight goes a distance. And I, I think Burrow can put enough rounds in the bank where he can win the fight. I think he can use this. His speed, he can just style and he can hold his own. He's not going to get just chopped down on the inside. So that's how I see this fight going down. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, remember to follow uh, me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, join the Patreon. The link to join is in the description. For just $5 a month, you get all the perks. You get the lock of the week. You get you can request me to break down any fight, handicap any fight. You get the free T-shirt and a ton more for just five dollars a month. It's well worth it for you. Uh, when we get enough uh, Patreons, we can start a Discord. We can just talk in there, and I can give you the advice, and there you can ask me any questions. You guys can break it down, chop it up yourself. But I need you to join. And again, it's, this week upcoming, I'm gonna. The only way to really contact me is through the Patreon. So if you want to join the Patreon? Five dollars a month. I'll give you all the advice. I give you all, all my advice. I'll give you a lock of the week parlays what's going to work what's not let me know put it in the uh put it in the patreon and i will i will get to you because i'm going to be in belize and i'm not going to have any contact outside of, of of the patreon for for five days or so it is oh also i don't gamble but if you do i always use DraftKings. um you can't even use DraftKings in texas but it's a good book it's user friendly and i'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on this water boxing it is february 25th 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.